The objective of this lesson is to decompose a fraction into a sum of unit fractions with the same denominator using visual models and equations. In the first example, the yellow rod represents the whole. Each white rod represents one-fifth of the whole. Five one-fifth rods are needed to make the whole, represented by the fraction five-fifths. Five-fifths is the total length of five copies of the unit fraction one-fifth. In the next example, the orange rod represents the whole. Each red rod represents one-fifth of the whole. To make the whole, we need five one-fifth rods. Five copies of one-fifth are equal to the fraction five-fifths. Notice that in each of the previous examples, different length rods were used to represent one-fifth, because the fractional part is always in relation to the size of the whole. Each scenario uses a different sized whole, making each one-fifth part a different size. If we were to create a model of five-fifths from each example, it might look like this. Notice each part of the model is labeled with its unit fraction, in this case one-fifth. Remember, when working with unit fractions, the numerator is always one, since we are representing one unit of the fraction. Our equation has five addends of one-fifth. When we add unit fractions together, we add the numerators, but leave the denominator constant. This is because the denominator describes the size of the fractional parts. The whole is still partitioned into fifths, and five-fifths are still required to make the whole, so the denominator remains as fifths. We can also represent our addition equations on a number line. Five-fifths can be shown as five jumps of the unit fraction one-fifth. Similarly with a set model. Here five-fifths is shown as a set of five balloons, each balloon representing one-fifth of the total set. Next, let's label the brown rod as the whole. Here we have partitioned the whole into eight pieces. Each piece represents the unit fraction one-eighth. Since the whole requires eight one-eighth sized pieces, we can write our addition equation with eight addends, each being the unit fraction one-eighth. Eight one-eighth sized pieces added together is equal to eight-eighths. Similarly, eight jumps on a number line, or eight gifts in the set model. In the next example, we will only consider part of the whole, rather than the complete whole as we have been. Again, the brown rod represents the whole, but we will only consider six-eighths of the whole, represented by six white rods, each one-eighth of the whole. Similarly, six-eighths is shown as six jumps on the number line, or six out of eight of the set of ice cream cones. Fractions larger than a whole can also be decomposed into unit fractions and represented visually as well as in an equation. Let's look at seven-fourths. Here the brown rod represents the whole. The whole can be partitioned into four equal parts, each representing a fourth of the whole. Since seven parts are needed, the fraction is larger than the whole, and additional parts extend beyond the whole. Seven-fourths is a fraction greater than one whole. Similarly, on a number line, seven one-fourth sized jumps extend beyond the number one, and is also shown as more than one whole in this area model and this set model. Each representation shows seven one-fourth sized pieces. The decomposed fraction, written as an equation of unit fractions, has seven addends, corresponding to seven parts of the fraction. Each addend is one-fourth, just as each piece in the fraction and in our models is one-fourth in size. With fractions larger than one whole, students may begin to recognize a shortcut to decomposing the fraction into the whole fraction and the unit fractions. For example, seven-fourths can be decomposed to become four-fourths and three one-fourth sized pieces, as visualized with the area and set models. This shortcut will benefit students in future lessons as they learn to decompose fractions for easier addition and subtraction of fractions. We can also decompose fractions represented in real-world scenarios. For example, this bar of chocolate is divided into 12 pieces, four of which are marked with a red X. The fraction represented with the red X's is 4 twelfths, as we have four 1 twelfth sized pieces. Decomposed into unit fractions, we would add 1 twelfth and 1 twelfth and 1 twelfth and 1 twelfth to equal 4 twelfths. Each 1 twelfth in the equation represents a single piece of chocolate marked by an X. Four add-ins are needed since four pieces are marked. The objective for this lesson was to decompose fractions into a sum of unit fractions with the same denominator. 
We met this objective by visually representing fractions in a variety of forms and identifying each unit fraction. We then created addition equations to represent the unit fractions created from decomposing the original fraction. 